Welcome to another Hunt for the Decepticons review. This time we're going to be looking at the Battle Blade Bumblebee figure. Here's Bumblebee in his vehicle mode, which is, of course, the new Camaro. And at first glance, this may seem just like the old, regular, same figure we've gotten so many times before. But this is actually quite a massive retooling of the any previous... Bumblebee figures actually kind of a combo of the original one and the uh, cannon blast or cannon bumblebee whatever one was called the one with the flip out cannons but this one doesn't have that anymore which is okay by me but nothing too spectacular here all right paint details still the uh, Camaro uh, lettering on both sides is just painted or isn't painted silver it's just molded plastic it looks all right it has some panel lines on the going around it but it actually looks pretty cool uh it may just be my imagination but just the front end of the vehicle itself looks more like a realistic camaro to me after seeing many many Cam camaros since they were released. I always thought the toys, Bumblebee toys, just kind of looked in vehicle form, didn't really live up to the uh, real cars that much, but this one looks more realistic in my opinion. Alright, not much else to say about them. Same, basically same design, so let's uh, go ahead and get into robot mode. Start the transformation, I'm just going to do this same old thing and open up his doors here and I'm going to take the back end of the car itself and detach it from the rest of it which is easier said than done here and work its way up so you got this piece all attached and flip this up Detach the wheels or the covers here that go to the front of the wheels. And this part is very much like the original Bumblebee figure where you will first rotate this hinge back and then grab hold of the feet after it's separated and rotate them down. And one of the original, the Probably the best automorph gimmick still remains in this figure. Spread out the heels. That. Rotate these pieces forward. This is uh, taking a little bit more time than I was hoping. Okay. Go up here. Work on the arms here. Spread these up a little bit. Pull out the arms. And as you pull out the arms, rotate the wheels all the way down again. Spread them. Alright, and then swing these pieces around which are his weapons fold out the hands okay then flip down this piece for his abdomen and make sure the head is out of the way which it just popped off which is all right So we then I'll rotate this waist piece up right there. Move the arms up here. All right, and there you have him in robot mode. 
One little fact I forgot to mention in the transformation process is uh, lift up these parts here and then the grill will actually fold up. And there, and that's him in his robot mode and it is fantastic. I love it more than I any other Bumblebee figure. It is almost like a scaled down Human Alliance Bumblebee figure because it does so much. It is very accurate. It has the most accurate uh, Bumblebee head and a deluxe class uh, we'll probably ever have. It doesn't have those creepy bug eye, painted bug eyes that previous ones have had. Uh, articulation is awesome. The detailing is fantastic. The wep and the weapons, the gimmicks that it has is just amazing, in my opinion. All right, so Battle Blade, his name. He has an axe now that his arm converts. Press a button, and a blue battle axe swings out, which is really cool, but not as cool as this one. But as with any other Bumblebee figure, there's always been they never really got it right. And the first ones, first ones with the gun, you had to attach it on. For Revenge of the Fallen, his arm was a gun. They never got it quite right, even with the Human Alliance figure. But in this one, they perfected it. You fold the hand in, you separate these two halves here, and fold out this little piece here, and then fold those two pieces back together, and there is his gun. Very simple amazingly effective and you still get to both the uh, two words uh, a gun arm and a regular hand not even that I mean it's just so perfect that of course it would have been how nice that this was black but I'm sure there was a cost effective issue there but still doesn't look bad at all so and of course for the first time in a deluxe class Bumblebee figure. You finally have his battle mask, which is a little bit stiff at first, but it will eventually fold on down like so. So now you have him ready for battle, which is amazing. I love this figure to death. It's uh. They perfected it. It is the essential Bumblebee figure, in my opinion. I've been saying that a lot lately. I'm not sure why. But, yes, this is essentially a huge retool of any previous Bumblebee figure. But it is a must-have. Just for the so many improvements done, they changed this from the uh, cannon Bumblebee. They gave him a battle mass, a sword, the... Uh, converting gun arm they just got everything down and the detailing on this is so amazing and it's really hard to go wrong with a ten dollar figure so I doubt you would hate it but it's so worth picking up even if you have ten other bumblebee figures which if you're like me you probably do so this is the essential Revenge of the Fallen slash Hunt for the Decepticons Bumblebee figure. Look no more, it's finally here. The best Bumblebee figure in is, has come. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.